Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I know, I know it feels like we just did this, but in today's video we are doing a unboxing, makeup look, reveal. I'm so excited. It has been three weeks. Not one, not two, but three weeks and I have finally, I have finally received my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Pricked Palette Collection order. Now, not all of it, mind you. Now, I'm still waiting on the mascaras. This launch was a little bit messy. I will say I'm really not happy with JSC right now. It's It was quite frustrating. So Jeffree Star released his fall palette, the Pricked palette, and I was really excited about it. I'm a collector of Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. I get and have every single one that he has ever come out with. And I was really excited about some of the other things in this collection as well. I was really excited about it. I made an order the day that it launched that went flawlessly. And then, you know, it, it said in the email that, you know, processing time is going to be about four business days. So I was like, okay, that's fine, whatever, you know, I get it. And, you know, like a week and a half went by and I didn't hear anything. And then finally my order shipped, but only some of it shipped. And the other half of the order that didn't ship was the mascaras. He came out with some colored mascaras for the Fuck Proof Mascara line. Um, and I got really excited and I ordered a couple of them, one for my sister, one for me. And I got an email saying that they weren't going to be shipping those with my current order because due to something with the lab or something like that, that they weren't going to be arriving on time. The mascaras still to this day, three weeks later, have not shipped. I honestly don't know if I'm going to be getting them. I don't know when the hell they're going to show up. I really honestly just straight up don't freaking know. Um, so I'm a little bit frustrated the fact that I had to wait three weeks for this order and I still haven't received everything that I ordered. I'm just, I'm a little bit at loss here. But with all that out of the way, I have the huge box right here. This is quite a big order because not only did I get stuff for myself, but I also got some stuff for my sister because she was at work the day that this launched. So I was able to go on while I was on break at work and get the stuff that she wanted. So we have quite a big box, quite a big order. So when you open it up, here's what everything looks like right on top. We have the promotional picture for this collection, which is super cool. Here's what this one looks like. We have Jeffrey licking some barbed wire. I, you, I don't expect anything less from him. And then right on the inside, we have the actual package. Love the tissue paper. Will be saving the tissue paper because you guys know I like to make Jeffree Star Cosmetics promo picture poster. So I like the orange tissue paper for sure. We'll be saving that. And then over here is my receipt. And of course, right on top, it says, please note, due to the high demand for the Fuck Proof Mascara, this product will ship separately from other products in your order, allowing our team to get all pricked collection items out to you as quickly as possible. Your shipping confirmation will provide details if this is the case. Please allow a few additional days for our team to process and complete your order. So... Yeah, we have all the stuff right here. So I'm just gonna start taking things out one by one. I really, really like this tissue paper. I think it's really cool. So the first thing that I'm gonna pull out are the palettes. There are two of them in here, one for me, one for my sister. And then on the other side are all of the lip products and the highlighter that I got for my sister. My sister wanted one of the Supreme Frost. It looks like she got Citrus Bling. So I'll set that off to the side to give to her. And that is everything in this box. And right here is where we have the Pricked Palette. Now, when I saw the pictures of this palette and when I watched the video of this collection, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little underwhelmed by what the palette looked like. I was hoping to see more browns, more pure oranges, more foresty greens, you know, like autumn colors, you know? So I was a little underwhelmed by what the palette looked like. I wasn't really a fan of like the cream and white shades. I feel like, I feel like that's one shade that Jeffree Star always kind of overdoes in his palettes is I don't like that he adds so many white cream shades. I just, I, I'm not really a fan of those kind of eyeshadow colors, but nonetheless, 
That was my first impression of it when I saw the pictures and when I watched the video. I have yet to see the palette in person, so I'm going to take the one off the top. When you take the pricked palette out of the packaging, here is what it looks like. Here is how it arrives. Now, as you are noticing, it is in like a purse type packaging, which is very different. He has never done anything like this for any of his previous palettes. Uh, I mean, I'm not... I'm not crazy about it because I'm never going to literally carry around this palette like this. It's cute. I like the idea. I like that it's different, but I'm not overly like Wah! about it. You know what I mean? Ooh, that's actually really pretty. So here's what the actual palette looks like once you remove the cardboard insert. Uh, really cool, a really decent sized palette. As you can see, it is bigger than my face. And on the front of it, it just says pricked. And this one, you see no pictures of Jeffree Star. He's been incorporating his face in a few of his previous palettes, which is fine. You know, it's his brand. He can do whatever he wants, but I really much prefer this style. There's the outside of the packaging. It feels really, really good quality. It literally feels like a leather tote almost, which I can really appreciate. And the little clasp right on the front here, you just, I'm assuming, okay, you just open it like that and then it closes like that. This literally just arrived on my doorstep about 30 minutes ago. So I just, I literally just got this package. Okay. I woke up this morning. I did my makeup knowing and hoping it was going to be delivered today. And sure enough, it showed up right after I finished my face makeup. So this is like literally everything. This is my first time seeing it. Da, 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 da. Okay. So here's the pricked palette. Uh, I'm going to remove this plastic bit right here. So it is a little bit dirty. Um, it looks like we have a crushed eyeshadow in the corner here, uh, right there. So it made the palette a little bit messy. But here's an overview of all of the shades. I think it's supposed to go like this. There we go. That's better. So here is what the palette looks like in person. Um, well, for me at least, here's what it looks like on my camera. Uh, a little bit messy, a little bit of a damaged shadow. And my first impressions of it seeing it in person, it does look better in person. It, that, that's one thing that I will say is you can never really, you can never really look at a picture or a video online and really know what it looks like until you see it in person. Because what I thought was going to be a lot of white creamy shades, they're actually not that bad in person. Um, there really is only like one really light nude shade. Other than that, everything else looks... It looks pretty good, actually. I'm pretty excited about it. The three shades that caught my eye right away is like this little L shape right here. Uh, I really, really like those shades. I think those are super fun. Has a very nice fall vibe to it. Again, the colors are appearing a little bit lighter and washed out on camera, but to me in person, they are really nice dark fall colors, which I like. Uh, let's do some peel porn. Always so satisfying, am I right? So in this video, I am going to be showing you everything that I got, and we are also going to be trying this palette on my eyes. Usually, I will do like an unboxing review, and then I will do a makeup look in a separate video. But because this, all this stuff arrived way later than I thought it was going to, um, I really just kind of want to put everything into one video so we can kind of move on to other content. So that is the pricked palette. That's what it looks like. Out of five stars, I'm going to give it, just by looking at it, about three and a half out of five. I have not tried it yet. I don't necessarily know what the quality is like. Granted, I do absolutely love Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I absolutely love his eyeshadows. His eyeshadow formula is like nothing I've ever tried before. But you never know. Maybe he changed the formula that I don't know about yet. Maybe this palette is going to be absolute shit. I don't really know. I really want to film a the best and the worst of Jeffree Star Cosmetics video, kind of talking about like his iconic products. Products, like products that shook me and products that I really wasn't that happy about. So if you guys want to see a video like that, please let me know because I would absolutely love to do that. So some of the other stuff that I got, like I said, my sister wanted a Supreme Frost. This is in the shade Citrus Bling. Kind of has like an orange imprint with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo in the center there. Not going to swatch it because this is not mine. This is my sister's. So I'm going to put that back in the packaging for her. Uh, my sister also wanted a Supreme Gloss from this collection and she got the shade Never Content. I like 
like the Supreme glosses. I really do. But I have like 11 of them. I went crazy on his site when he released those glosses and I got 11 of them. And honestly, I don't need any more. So I did not get any of the Supreme glosses. But here is the shade of the Supreme gloss that my sister got. Just a really nice kind of nude shade. It actually is really fucking pretty. And then the rest of the stuff we got are some liquid lipsticks. So the two liquid lipsticks, I did get two of them because me and my sister both liked the same one and that is the play your luck liquid lipstick so this one is mine so we can see what it looks like we can open it oh yeah oh i'm totally gonna wear this today so here's what this shade looks like let's go ahead and swatch it on the hand that is a horrible swatch let's try this again so here is what play your luck looks like swatched Really nice color. I'm actually not as crazy about it in person now that I'm seeing it. Uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit more of like a, a paler nude, honestly. But, I mean, we're going to wear it today. We're going to try it today. And then I did also pick up another liquid lipstick because even though liquid lipsticks aren't really in anymore, I still love liquid lipsticks. And Jeffree Star, in my opinion, I'm a little bit biased. <laughs> but in my opinion, he has the best lip liquid lipstick formula. So I did pick up another one. This one is a little bit more you know my speed but it is this one right here as you can see it is still a nude color but it is a little bit uh lighter than play your luck and this one is in the shade no squeeze is that what it's called yeah no squeeze so let's go ahead and swatch that one right next to play your luck this one i really really like so here is play your luck right here and this one right next to it is no squeeze i really do like the look of no squeeze that's definitely more my speed now that i'm looking at them next to each other this would make like a really pretty lip combo like have play your luck all over the lips with a little bit of no squeeze in the center <sighs> ombre moment am i right kids they have like the orangey nude top, which is really exciting. I don't think, yeah, I'm looking at my collection. He has never done anything like this before. He's done orange, he's done yellow, uh, he's done green, but never this kind of nudie orange color. So I really like that. I think it goes along with the collection really, really well. Now I'm really kind of anxious to play with this palette. I'm like... <sighs> Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and let's play with the Pricked Palette. I'm excited about it. Let's play. Well, first, I am going to apply some tape just to the outer corners of my eyeballs because I want a snatched eyeshadow look. I think the very first shade that I want to go in with that I kind of just want to slap in the crease really quick just to kind of get things a little bit you know, ready is I'm going to take this shade right here and this is in the shade Cutting Edge and I'm going to take that and I'm just going to put that all over the eyelid, all over the crease. We're just going to, we're going to go bananas with it. I'm going to take this brush by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to take Cutting Edge all over the brushy brush and just start putting that all over the eyelid and up in the crease. So it is really powdery. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it kind of like powdering off of my eye, but the pigmentation is still kind of there. And I'm going to kind of bring it all the way up to my brow bone as well. I'm going to do that on both eyes. I am going to do the same look on both eyes because if you guys watched my pink religion makeup look, I did like one pink eye and one purple eye. Uh, this one, I'm going to do the same look on both. As you can see, it's not like super dramatic, but it just gives a little something extra to the eye, and I am really, really feeling it. So how is everyone's spooky season going? Oh my gosh, this has seriously been the fastest spooky season I have personally ever been a part of. We are already in the middle of October, and I cannot fucking believe it. I feel like I literally just decorated and then soon it's going to be time to take all those decorations down, which I'm kind of quaking over because I have acquired so many Halloween decorations and spooky things that I pretty much no longer have room in the closet. If you guys watched my decorate with me video and you saw the audacity of that closet, like who said it could get that packed? I don't know, but I am very quickly running out of room in that closet and I don't know what I'm gonna do when I need to take all my decorations down. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. 
I have very highly considered getting a storage unit, like a small one, just for all my decorations because I just, I don't have room in this place. I have very quickly outgrown this two bedroom townhouse. I should have got a three bedroom because I just, I don't have room, you guys. Oh my gosh, I just, ah! Uh, I hope you guys are having a good spooky season. Halloween is very, very quickly approaching. I haven't really been able to enjoy Halloween like I have in past uh, Halloweens because this one is, has just been so busy with weddings and uh, things going on. Work has been really busy. So I'm just, I'm trying to like suck up any sort of like spooky fall anything I've just been really trying to suck it all in. Okay, the next shade, because I'm really feeling kind of like a dark, vampy, fall, autumn, harvest gathering type look. So all over the eyelid, I'm gonna go in, we're gonna get a little bit crazy with it. I'm gonna go in with this brown shade right here. It has a Scorpio in it, a Scorpio in it, a Scorpion in it. <laughs> And this one is in the shade Double Cross. I really hope these colors are reading on camera because it looks really washed out for some reason. But it is a really nice true brown. And I'm going to take that all over the eyelid for both of my eyes. Oh, yeah. Really just going to pack that shade on there. We're just gonna put that all the way up to the crease area. Oh, and my body hurts so bad today. Yesterday was Monday and I work Mondays. I'm a dog groomer for those of you who don't know, which I'm sure a lot of you know by now, but I'm a dog groomer and I had all big dogs yesterday except for one tiny little Yorkie and my body hurts so bad. Oh, fallout, fallout alert. That's going to be fucking fun to clean up. I had two big doodles. One of them, of course, was matted. I mean, what do you, what else do you get with a fucking doodle? They're always matted. And this owner had the audacity to say that she did not know that you had to brush a doodle. And she did not know what a slicker brush was. So I, she wanted her dog kept fluffy, which all fucking doodle owners do, but they don't realize that... If you don't brush your damn dog, they're gonna get shaved. And we don't shave to spite the owners, we shave because it's cruel to sit there and demat a dog when it's not their fault that they got matted. So I had to shave this lady's dog. She was not happy that her dog had to be shaved, but at the same time, it's like, well, then brush your fucking dog. So I had to do that. And then the other one just got like a, you know, typical teddy bear cut. And then I had a golden retriever. And then I had a Sheltie. It was a day yesterday and I'm just, I'm fucking tired, okay? Like these dogs weigh way more than I do. So lifting them and, you know, trying to get them to, you know, hold still or whatever, it takes a lot out of me, okay? It just, it really just kicks my fucking ass. My feet hurt and my shoulder hurts and my back hurts and my legs hurt. Everything hurts. That's one thing that nobody really tells you about dog grooming is just how much pain your body is going to be in because wow, whew, it's painful. Okay, next, that's not as dark as I really want it to be. So I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this shade down here and this one is slice me open with a bloody knife, which you know is fitting, spooky season, hee <laughs> hee. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that and I'm also gonna put that over top of that double crossed shade that we put on just to darken it up ever so slightly. There we go, now I'm getting that kind of like smoky, spooky fall aesthetic that I was looking for. And the next shade I really wanna go in with and I'm really, really excited to try this one is this one. It's the orangish shade out of the palette and this one is called Orange Fatale. Fatale, you know what I'm talking about? So I'm gonna take some of this on the brush Tap off the excess. The brush is coated. It is really, really pigmented. And we're just going to, I'm bringing this pretty high up because I want a super, super dramatic look. I'm gonna kind of like move my bangs in an awkward way so I can do this. <laughs> Okay, so this shade is okay. I don't know. I mean, does it look, does it look orange? 
I mean, I guess it does, kind of. Why is it that when I'm not filming, nobody texts me? But as soon as I start filming, everybody wants to text me. Like, <laughs> and then yes, for those of you who are going to ask, because I know I'm going to get questions on this, is are you going to get the weirdo palette that, oh my God, shut up. Okay, so that notification literally <laughs> was my tracking number for like, it just, that noise you heard, that was literally my shipping confirmation for the mascaras. Like, I fucking, I kid you not. I just win this shipment. Fuckproof mascara, blood orange, fuckproof mascara, brown. It's about time there, Jeffrey. Okay guys, so it is now about five days later and the fuckproof mascara has finally arrived. So about five days later from what you are watching right now, this finally showed up. So as you can see, it is the exact same packaging as the black mascara. The only difference is, is that it is a different color on the outside and the actual mascara itself is also a different color. So the shade that I decided to get is Blood Orange, as you can see right there. I'm so excited. It just looks like such a fun color to get and I mean, I thought the black one was okay when I tried it. Um, I do believe that he has updated the formula since then, so I can't wait to give this a try. I have not tried it yet. I'm just showing you guys what the packaging looks like. So when you take it out of the box, here's what it looks like. We just have the little whip down here, and here's what the outer component looks like. So it has the really nice intricate braiding right there and it just says fuck proof right at the top with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo so let me just open it up okay there we go so here is what the wand looks like and there is the color okay and just for funsies I I know I look like shit right now it's Sunday right now so I'm like <laughs> having a lazy day but just for fun let's just go ahead and put this on my eyes just so we can see what it looks like Okay, so here's what this one quick coat over my lashes looks like. It, you, you can't even see the color, really. I don't know. We'll have to try it again another day, because uh, right now I'm not really that impressed with it. But there you go. That's the mascara. It finally showed up. Worth the wait. I don't know. So for those of you who are going to ask, yes, I am going to be getting the weirdo palette that he just talked about. I'm probably going to get a mystery box. Here's what this situation is looking like so far. It looks a little bit weird and crazy, but you know, I'm a little bit weird and crazy. Oh my gosh, I should not have done my face makeup first because this is like, there's so much fallout on my face. Like right here. Oh dear. Okay, and then I'm literally just going to take this all the way up to the brow bone. I'm just going to blend the shit out of this and just, we're just going to take it there, guys. We are just going to take it there. Okay, and I really wanted to add a glitter on my eyes a little bit, but I'm not really, oh wait, that's a lie. Yes, I'll use that one. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this orange glitter right at the top here called Fashion Horror, and it looks like we have a Birkin imprinted into that one. I'm gonna take some of that, and I'm just gonna lightly put that kind of all over the lid. Not a whole bunch, because I don't wanna cover up those shades that we already put. That's a really pretty color. I really like this. So I'm going to do a black cat eye on both of my eyes. Okay, so after spending about literally 15 minutes trying to fix my face uh, where the fallout was, the top of the eyes are done. I like it. It's very fall, very fall colors, very vampy, very dramatic, very cool, very... <laughs> 
So now for the underneath part of my eye, I'm gonna go in with that orange fatal shade again. And we are just going to really orange this bitch up. Put on some more black eyeliner. Just using a clean brush for this, I'm just gonna kind of blend down. So yes, bitch, yes! That's literally the vampiness that I was looking for. And for highlight, I'm gonna go back in with that fashion horror, that like glittery, glittery orange. And I'm actually gonna put that in the inner corners of my eyes and on the brow bones as well. <clears throat> you guys, I just cannot do makeup anymore. Holy shit. Like, I hardly ever wear makeup anymore because I'm, you know, I'm grooming dogs and I don't necessarily need to wear makeup anymore. So now that I like don't do it very often, like, what is that? What the fuck is that? Okay, I'm gonna touch up my mascara a little bit because it looks like we had some spillage. Oh look, more makeup mistakes. Good, great. I think I'm going to do the ombre look that I talked about. So I'm gonna do play your luck on the lips with a little bit of no squeeze in the center. I'm gonna go in with this lip liner. This is a ColourPop lippy pencil and this is in the shade Love Bug. I'm gonna line up my lips with this guy. So here's what Play Your Luck looks like all over the lips, just this color. I think it ties in with the eye look really nicely. It looks very fall-esque. I do want to take just the slightest bit of no squeeze and just kind of like take that on my finger. Yeah, that's actually really nice. I really, really like that. So it actually turns out that these two shades together really make a nice ombre lip. Okay, I am going to be right back. I need to go wash my hands because my hands are just covered in eyeshadow and foundation and concealer. So I will be right back. I'm just going to wash up real quick. Hey guys, so here is the full and completed look. I did go and grab my little witchy hat. I have never had one of these hats before. And when I was out doing like some Halloween decor hunting... <laughs> I came across this and I was like, okay, I really like the look of witchy hats. What is that? What is that? Get out of there. I really like the look of witchy hats and I've never had the chance to try one. So I picked this one up just to try it and I'm actually really happy with the way that it looks. I think it looks really cute. So here is the full get up all completed. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Do you like the eye look? What do you think of the palette? Did you yourself get the palette? Was it overwhelming to you? Was it underwhelming to you? Sound off down below. What do you think of the lips? What do you think of the eyes? I'm so far, pretty happy with it. I can't wait to play with it some more. I'm still gonna, you know, sit with my three out of five stars just because I haven't really had the chance to play with every single shadow yet. Uh, but so far, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty, I'm pretty amped. I'm, I want some fucking cider now, right now, man. Like, I want some cider. So thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for sitting here chatting with me while we played with the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Pricked Palette. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go down and give this video a huge thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. I do upload every three to four days here, but as the rest of you, I love you guys so very much. Happy fall, happy spooky season, and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. My battery is about to die. Bye. Okay, battery's about to die. Battery.